Welcome, welcome, welcome back guys to the ultimate single player guide for Scum. And yes, we are exactly where we were last time. Okay, so one thing that you must just take a note of is uh, that I've got the supporter pack. So I have got, you know, Willy Warmer and stuff that I can tear up into rags to create um, improvised rope you know quite quickly but i realized that most of you don't have the supporter pack or not most of you some of you don't have the supporter pack so i'll be trying to cover the gameplay you know for you guys as well so when you start out you'll either be starting out in the snow or you'll, you'll basically be able to start anywhere on the map okay so the first thing that you want to do is just look for a rock okay or rocks and so there we just press shift um search double click on it we take the first little rock that we get and then we need to find another little bundle of rocks and then we just double click on that as well okay tab of course is your inventory and as soon as we've got the two rocks we can go and craft our first little stone knife okay because we need the stone knife to cut up little bushes and whatever okay so i'm just going to show you how to get started and how to be prepared for anything when you've crafted it put it in your hands right click on it take in hands okay so that you don't leave it there um a lot of people get bothered by that you know that they de-equip whatever's in their hands and then they leave it there and that can cause a lot of frustration so whenever you're busy with something you know just make sure go into your inventory pull this bar a little bit down and just make sure you know you're not leaving anything behind in your vicinity so it's in our hands right now so now we can just press f to cut down this bush and since our survival and stuff is quite high it's not going to take too long but of course the amount of resources that you're going to get um, from something is dependent on the tool that you use so we're not going to get a lot of um, resources using this tool and then for some reason it's giving us a, a smaller little tree um, I saw that in the snow as well so a bush you know gets cut down immediately these little trees turn into smaller trees don't know what's going on there but just a little bit more experience that you can get from that okay so first of all what you need to know is that five sticks makes a tree bark rope okay and you're going to need a tree bark rope for the start because right from the start you will see that you have got basically it's four little blocks but you can only put one thing one basic item in there okay and then you can put two items in here so you've got only you've only got space for three items the worst thing of all is your shirt can only carry 0.6 kilograms which basically means a lot of stuff you won't even be able to put into your shirt because it weighs a lot and then yeah so your carry weight is very minimalistic and of course you don't want to be running around in orange on a multiplayer server but of course this is a single player guide so the only thing that we're going to focus on is inventory space so we've got four little sticks here or four small wooden sticks and we've got a long stick so we can just cut this into smaller little sticks okay so now in our vicinity we've got six small little sticks so now we can go craft that tree bark rope and like i said with the supporter pack i could have made an improvised rope by just tearing my clothing into small little rags but we're not going to do that so then again we just go into our crafting there's our rope we can't put the rope in there because it weighs too much but if we put that stone knife back in our hands we can put the rope in there because um yeah you know it's weighing 0 0.8 kilograms where the shirt can only take 0 0.6 kilograms okay so inventory is going to bother you a bit in the beginning that is why this is our priority so we need the rope we need the stone knife which we have and then we need the three rags okay so you can go and kill a puppet if you don't want to tear up your clothing okay we can go and kill a puppet if we want to but it's going to be quite difficult without a weapon so we're just going to do it the normal way and you guys will be able to do this as well even if you haven't got the supporter pack so the first thing i'm going to do is tear up this even though this is basically useless i don't want to tear up something that's giving me inventory space so i'm going to tear up the shirt of mine 
um, cut it into rags because I've got the stone knife um, equipped. And yeah, you can cut up your you can cut up your socks, you can cut up your underpants, you know, because that's not giving you inventory space. So there we've got two. So let's cut up our underpants as well. Okay. Okay. So we're Willy, we've got free Willy here, which isn't a bad thing. And there we go. We can craft the improvised backpack. And you can remember the three little slots that we had previously. And there we go, guys. We've crafted it. It's in our vicinity. So we, you can um, <clears throat> right click on it to open the inventory. You know, just right click, open inventory. Um, you can examine it, take it in your hand, cut it into rags, equip it. Okay, so we, you can either drag it to there or you can just say equip. And there, we've got a lot more inventory space now. Which is going to help us because the next thing that we want to craft is uh, is the stone axe. Okay, to craft the stone axe, we need a small stone axe head and we need a long stick. Okay, so if we go into our inventory... Uh, we've got a long stick here, but we can't put it in our um, in our bag. So we're just going to put it, you know, um, in our holster on our back. So at least we've got the long stick already. Then what we need is the small stone. Okay, so there's a small stone head. We need two, two big stones. Okay, so all we're going to do now is, again, look for the rocks. And just go to our inventory. That's a small stone. So we just go around here looking for bigger stones. Or uh, small stones. And we will get bigger stones at some point. Oh, the graphics. The graphics is beautiful. I am playing around with the graphics a bit and the FOV. But I feel I'm happy at the moment. So there we get our first big rock. And we can put it in there. Because our bag can carry more than our clothing can. And then I think we've got our second big rock. Okay, so now we can craft the small stone axe head. And this will all make sense to you guys, don't worry. This will all make sense to you. Again, don't leave it on the ground, please. Put it there, okay. And then we've, you can see our, the, the stone knife that we used is broken. But at least we've got two small stones underneath us. So we're just going to use that for now. To make another stone knife. And then again, we can just drag it to our hands there. Okay, and what we need now, I think we've got everything we need. Stone axe, we need the stone head. We've got the stone head. We need the long stick. And we need a rope. No. What? Stone axe. Improvised rope, tree bark rope. Yeah, freaking hell. Five meter rope. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Okay, and we know what route we have to take for the for the rope. And of course this is gonna be the same thing. Small little tree. Cut down the tree twice. We have to cut down the tree twice. We'll go to... Would it be better to go to the bushes, guys? But at least you know, you know. Saves you a little bit of time to go to a... To go to a bush rather than using a tree. So there we go again. We've got four small little sticks. Okay, so we can put two sticks in here just to make sure. And then can we put it in there? Yeah, so we've got three little sticks on us. And then we just use our mouse scroll wheel to run to this bush quickly. And then we can just cut down this little bush, which should give us the sticks immediately. There we go. And now we should have enough. No, no, no. We need the rope. We need the rope. We need the rope. Okay. There we go. We've got the stone axe, boys. 
very 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 important the stone axe is a much better tool so you're going to get more resources from everything you do you know cutting up rags cut, cutting up clothing everything is going to help you a lot and then mental note when you get to um puppets don't think their clothing is useless because you can't wear it cut it up into rags you know cut them up I'm not going to be a, ca a cannibal in this game, guys. I'm not going to break immersion, so I'm not going to eat cannibal uh, puppet f fat or meat or whatever. Okay, the only thing I'll maybe do with a with the puppet is use its bones for like a bone needle. And if I'm very desperate, which I don't think I will be, but if I'm very desperate, I'll cr I'll craft a small improvised backpack. But in any case, again, make sure we put it um, in our hands. Okay, and then now we'll leave the stone knife there for now. No, we won't. We'll just throw that away. So now that we equipped with an axe, this is a very important step for the next step. So the next step, because we've got an axe, we go to a tree. And now, because we've got an axe, we can cut down a tree. Which you can't, of course, you can't do it with a stone knife. Maybe you can, but it will take you a few years. So let's just um, use the axe. Okay, and now we can cut these, let's just see, the wooden logs we can cut into planks. And you can get this when you loot as well. You do get locations which have got planks, you know, and various resources. So if you're trying to build a base and you've got a vehicle, you know, try and use the, the resources that are in towns instead of just cutting down trees, unless you want to upgrade your crafting skill, that's fine. But the wooden club, is a number one that we're going to craft because we've got a medium melee skill okay so we don't want to face any enemies with our fists we can't box we want to face enemies with a melee weapon or with a rifle okay and then we're going to play around with pistols as well and as soon as you craft it you will see that you're able to make a wooden club with nails it only takes one nail or it takes one barbed wire to make a cooler club okay and trust me the damage counts guys the damage of the club counts. So I can put the put the um, axe in there and then I, I can press control and use the mouse button to change the position. That, you know, that's nothing. And then we put the club in there and as soon as I get nails, which I will get when I loot towns, or if I get barbed wire, I'm gonna make this um, club a little bit better. And just for now, just for now, I'll put the, put the axe quickly back to my inventory. We haven't got any throwing skill. Okay, but if I run into a boar or a deer or whatever, I still want to wound it. Okay, I definitely want to wound it. And to do that, we just need, we just need a, a long stick. Okay, so I'm just looking for a bush here. Don't really want to double, you know, I don't want to double cut those and uh, those trees. And we're a fit, we're fit boys, we're fit. So, um... Running is nothing for us. And a lot of people lie down. You can lie down, okay, to um, regain your stamina. So you're just holding tab. You go actions and a lot of people lie down. I don't like it when my character's head glitches through the ground. Okay, I'm all about immersion. So I'd rather sit down. Okay, and then what you want to take a note of is use the toilet as much as possible. Don't go, f don't wait till your till your colon you know or your bladder is very close to 100 percent because then you might want to pee or you'll be forced to pee or poop when you're in a very dangerous situation and when you're eating stuff we will go over this but when you're eating stuff you never want to push your stomach past 60 or 70 percent i don't push my stomach past 60 percent basically because i know that my intestines it moves from my stomach to my intestines you know, and then to my bladder or my colon, but the intestines fill up slowly, which which you it's difficult to keep track of that. You know, so don't don't push that too far, otherwise you're going to run into some problems. And right at the start, I already want to mark somewhere that I want to go. Okay, and the snow is a great place, but we're not going to go for the snow now. So what I'm going to do while I'm running, I'm running in any case. I just want to focus on towns. And that place there looks like a smaller location. So I want to run south 
west southwest but a lot more but a lot more west okay so what i'm gonna do is you're gonna um hold in my focus key and i've changed my key bindings guys we will cover the key bindings in the in the next episode or maybe now we can change it now okay uh, i'm gonna aim by holding my right mouse button okay um because you enter combat mode with v with v usually okay and that you know that can just frustrate you um sometimes so all i did is i went to the to the options menu let me just do it for you guys quickly went to the options menu and then i went to um weapons and this the hold down site will be none okay so i just clicked here and i said hold it down but some of you just like me sometimes your right mouse button you know can glitch out um so if you've got any problems with your right mouse button not that i'm saying you do but if you don't like the hold down right mouse button to aim if you just want to toggle it you know keep it normal don't change it okay but if you want to hold down the right mouse button to aim and then to come out of your combat stance as soon as you're done you know use use that button it's all up to you and then i just used my i'm just using my um my extra mouse keys not all of you have got um extra mouse keys you know on your mouse but i'm using my extra buttons to go into first person mode or third person mode so that i don't have to press the enter key again because I, do, I don't like going from my WASD to my enter, you know, to change. So I'm just using my mouse button to change the viewing and then I'm using the other mouse button to focus. Okay, that's all I'm doing. So, yeah, we want to, so we want to go, I'm just going to use the focus. We want to go southwest, but more west. Okay, so we want to run in this direction okay and here we've got a not we've got a nice we've got a nice bush here and our axe is equipped so we're just going to cut down the bush and a spear is very easy guys but a spear is not as good as a club okay trust me on this i've tested a heck of a lot of things a spear is not as good as a cr club so i'm just going to craft the spear quickly okay the wooden club is better especially when you add nails to it and stuff i have used the bat as well but the bat the bat didn't really impress me. The bat didn't upgrade my damage like I saw a damage upgrade from a spear, you know, um, from a spear to a club. So now we're just going to equip the spear in there so that if we find an animal, we can just throw the animal, okay? And then as soon as you get a water source, like there's various sources of food, guys, but I'm not worried about that right now. As soon as you get a water source, you just want to make sure the water source isn't connected to the ocean. Okay, maybe you can still drink it if it's connected to the ocean. Okay, so the water color is different. The ocean water color is much lighter. So I think you can drink all the dark blue water, but you can't drink directly from the ocean. That's going to be bad. Okay, so all I want to do now is holding my control key. And because you can crouch like this instead of just going like that. So then we just crouch down and we drink. And here goes our metabolism. So you must remember that fluids goes into your intestines much quicker. Okay, much quicker than food. But all I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to drink about five times. Like I said, I never want to take my stomach past 60%. It doesn't really matter what I do. And I haven't gotten diarrhea or anything yet, guys. I figured out all those problems about two years ago when the game came out. And it hasn't changed too much. So yeah. And of course, it's going down. Water goes down very quickly in your stomach, but it builds up in your intestines quite quickly. Okay, and as soon as I'm past 50% with my colon or my bladder, I go for a poop. Just like in real life, guys. Just like in real life, okay? you If you drink a lot of water or anything, you're going to want to go to the toilet quite a lot. Okay, so here's the, t here's the town. Let's get a nice running start here okay you don't want to fall too far because then you're going to injure yourself and you don't really want to run unnecessarily because look at when i walk look at the speaker okay the speaker down there the, there at the bottom right okay can i can i enter there right here there's a speaker there telling you how much sound you're making so just look at that speaker okay look at the speaker while i'm walking 
very very minimal now when i'm jogging it goes up now when i'm running it goes up again so that's that's just gonna um let megs or zombies detect you a lot quicker okay but we don't really fear anything at this moment but we want to make sure that there's nothing here and now again i just go to my quick mouse button and now the fun start the fun part starts where we just loot these kinds of heaps always gives you feathers so if you want to use a bow collect the feathers okay collect the feathers if you just make a wooden arrow it's going to be very inaccurate and it just takes a small wooden stick and a cut yeah anything an axe or a cutting stone but the the wooden arrows with feathers also just takes one small wooden stick with a feather okay and as soon as you start looting you'll get a lot of feathers in normal small locations okay so rather collect those feathers first and then make the arrows with the feathers okay that you can aim a lot better like i say like i said i've tested about 30 builds in the last four days and yeah if you want to see what's in your area you can but and uh, again guys the awareness the awareness doesn't go up when you look when you search for something the awareness goes up as soon as you discover like i don't even have to look at this thing for my awareness to go up okay like at intelligence there my awareness is already at 350 but i don't have to look at that thing for my awareness to go up as soon as i get into an area and that thing enters my vicinity i pick up awareness okay so awareness isn't too bad and a pickaxe a pickaxe isn't too bad at all how big is a pickaxe i haven't picked up a pickaxe in a long time Whew. pickaxe is quite big man yeah goodness gracious Okay, I know a pickaxe is really good, guys. Ooh, but it's ooh, it's heavy. It's heavy. So at the moment, you're at the start of the game, boys. So, you know, don't break your head um, with what you're missing. Okay? Don't break your head with what you're missing. And, yeah, so we just want to make sure. Again, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Feathers, boys. Feathers. Okay, all the bales. The bales are going to give you feathers. Look there, three feathers. We, you could have already made five, six cool arrows. Okay, instead of making um, boring arrows. So this is what you're going to focus on right in the beginning. Okay, you want to look for like plants and everything and food that you can eat. Okay, and just, just loot the small places, guys. It's the beginning of the game. Okay, most PvPers want to rush towards the bunkers. But that's not what a that's not what a survival game is about. And we could have made ten arrows at this point. But that's not what a survival game is about. Okay, a survival game is not about finishing the game in a week or getting the best gear in a week. So we're just gonna do the normal the normal looting here. And that that's it. That is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go to that location and that location and that location. And then I'm going to work myself to the bigger town. So if I fight, I want to get to a puppet. Just to show you how easy it is to kill a puppet with the perfect build that we've chosen. And then I'll skip the rest for part three. Okay, so give me a second and let's just get to a puppet quickly. Okay guys, just a quick mental note here while I'm busy with the town. I haven't seen a puppet yet. We're still looking for a puppet to kill. But I am keeping keeping my noise levels quite low so that I can know when I see him. Here we have found um, construction rubber boots, which is of course better than the boots that we're using. What's great about this, you can just place it anywhere like this. That's freaking awesome. So we've got better boots now. And... I haven't searched these items yet, but one mental note that I do want to give you guys. Um, if you get something like this, okay, you can tear up clothes, but if you get a clean rag, cut it into rag strips immediately. Because whenever a, a puppet hits you, whenever you receive any damage, you're going to need to use a rag immediately while it's still in phase one or two okay i haven't really tested this to phase five or something you know when it gets really really bad but i just use these 
these small little rags. And what I do immediately is put it in the quick slot. Okay, you don't need to put the other rag. You can't put the other rag in the other quick slot. All that is going to do is that I don't have to come and click here and heal my wound. Okay, whenever I get hit, um, I can just press three. I can just press number three. Okay, and I'm going to bandage myself immediately. So yeah, I cut up the clean rags into rag strips so that you'll get rid of a sickness. Yeah, I mean hunger, hungry phase one, but they, they will be sick, you know, when you get hit. And you just want to heal yourself immediately. Okay, just a small little tip there that I wanted to give you. And I have found a very, very large backpack in these cupboards quite a few times in my tests that I did. Okay. So you can see here's a piece of clothing. Okay, we can we can put the hat on. Equip it. I could have just dragged it in there, guys. I could have just dragged it in there. Okay. But yeah. The rag strips. Put it into your quick slot because you can forget about that very easily. You know? And then all your bleeding can um, can become a problem. So I'm gonna tear this one into rag strips as well. And then, yeah, while you're walking through the forest, you'll see, see dead bark, dead, dead, dead logs on the ground. That will give you grasshoppers and larva, you know, to eat. I just wanted to show you that, but I'm not going to eat that. Okay? I'm a new survivor. I'm not dying yet. Okay? It's a fresh start. I'm not going to be a carnival, and I'm not going to eat larva and grasshoppers yet. Okay, if I've got a choice, I'm going to eat healthy food. But I just wanted to show you, you can get food from these things. Okay, okay. And here we've got an axe. We've got an axe. Damn, man. I'm really thinking an axe is better than... I'm, yeah, definitely thinking an axe is better than that. But again, the axe is, again, the axe is going to... Um, the axe is going to be big. Eh? Eh? Damn, man. The axe is going to be big, big. I don't care. We're taking the axe, boys. We are taking the axe. Now we just have to be careful when we do anything. Again, guys, feathers. A heck, a heck of a lot of feathers. Okay? But, yeah. Let's keep these videos nice and short. I'll be back with you guys when I see a puppet. And that's where the part two is going to end. See you guys now. now. Okay, I'm sorry boys, I'm back. And like I said, I'm gonna, you guys are gonna experience this journey with me. We've got the nails, okay? So immediately when we go to crafting, we will be able to craft this, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this, I'm gonna take the nails. The screwdriver is very important if you wanna pick a lock. You will get um, bobby pins, you know, in the world, you'll get like boxes of 20 bobby pins. You can turn them into lock picks. You just go into your crafting menu. And then you'll be able to um, turn them into lock picks. There you go. Lock picks. You can just use, you know, a safety pin or a bobby pin. Okay. You'll get small little boxes of bobby pins. But yeah, you need the screwdriver because the screwdriver takes uses as well. Okay, and you never know when you're going to get an airdrop. So when you get an airdrop, you're going to need that. In any case, now that we've got the nails, we can clearly go craft the wooden club with the nails in. Okay. I'm still feeling this axe is going to be a lot better, but it's not to say you guys are going to find a cool, cool axe right from the start. Okay. So again, I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking of all options. So putting that back. The cut, uh, wire cutters, we're going to need that. We don't really, really need that right now. Okay. We're not going to go into a kill zone right now, really. But let's put it in there and hopefully we get lucky with the backpack. Because like I say, those cupboards are really good for that. And we're not going to focus on bolts or any scrap metal now, guys. Every car can give you scrap metal, you know, and stuff. So really, really don't worry about that. Let's search this. Feathers, boys. I'm telling you guys now. Robin Hood. Robin Hood, guys. Robin Hood. One time. <laughs> okay.
Okay, boys. Uh, I know, I know, I know. There's a, there's a, um, what do you call it? Wheelbarrow in the game. Okay. If you want inventory space and you can't find a car, you can just come here. Okay, and and drive it. Okay, you can just come here and drive it, and then we can we can push it. And it handles just like a real wheelbarrow. This is freaking awesome, man. Okay, you can't really run with it. But you can walk with a wheelbarrow. That is freaking awesome, dudes. That is freaking awesome. Okay, um, let's just get out of it. And again, if you interact with it. Like, if I interact with it here. I'm just interacting with it now. Push board. Oh, no. Uh, you must go in the vicinity, boy. Guys, sorry. I opened the inventory when it was in my vicinity and check all that inventory space, boys. Check all that inventory space. Uh, that's, 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 that's funny, guys. That's funny. And I'm remembering what I'm doing. I'm remembering what I'm doing. I have made that mistake with you guys, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so you can see the screwdriver has got uses, but the wire cutter has just got durability. That one's got worse durability than the one that I'm using, so I don't care about that. And at the moment, this is just giving me a lot of feathers, and then this is just showing me what's in the vicinity. Okay, so again, I'm going to wear those cool gloves, and I can get the other stuff whenever I need them. Okay, these are basic looting locations, guys. If you look at the map, there are thousands of small little dots. There are thousands of small little hidden areas and bunkers. Okay, don't worry about that. Take it slow. Take it slow. Live yourself into the experience. And I'll be back now. Let's end this video. ASAP. Here we are, we, here we are again, boys. I'm just going to tell you when I find foods, okay? All I'm going to do is I'm going to say eat. See how fast it's filling up that. As soon as I see it's not really, it's not really filling it up fast, I'm just going to say eat all. Okay? As soon as I know I'm getting the vitamins and everything from it, I'm just going to push it. And I just drank twice from the... Um, from the river and I'm already at 50% so I only have to do that tactic that I showed you guys about four times to get my water to a perfect level okay guys just one 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 more tip while we're doing this the town is up ahead okay I'll be there now now just one more tip when you get tired I did you know I did tell you you can lie down so you're just holding the tab and you go sit down okay Lying down will be a little bit faster, you know, but sitting down doesn't break the immersion. You can see my hand is going to the ground there a little bit, but your head will go right through the ground. And it doesn't take too long. Take in the scenery, think about your next move, relax, okay? And if you guys thought you were going to catch me, when, you know, when, with the onion, I didn't leave my club behind, boys. We are going to test both weapons and then the most important thing i wanted to tell you is you just hold shift and tap your w my hands are off the keyboard now if you hold shift and tap w that's auto run okay and you just you can just control yourself with a mouse and you can still you know you can still control your speed Guys, I'm really not doing this on purpose. I'm really not doing this on purpose. But anyone that says it's difficult to survive, food-wise, I don't know what they're doing. And I just realized, when I when I see a deer or a pig or whatever, there are bushes all around me. So I can just go and cut down a bush quickly, you know, to craft a spear if I want to. I don't need to carry the spear with me okay and again i look at my metabolism and my metabolism is quite high so i don't really want to eat anything now but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean i don't want it okay i want to i want to um, keep the resources with me so now we're just going to pick and choose here okay i don't really need so many so many rags so i'm just gonna is it bigger really are you serious it's bigger. 
Oh, that's interesting. It's long. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit more inventory space. But yes, guys, oh, finally, finally. Okay, so let's test this. Let's take out our club. Okay. It's a big boy. It looks like a big boy. We're not even going to open the gate. We're just going to press jump over the gate. And then we're going to go. Let's go, dude. What you got? What you got? What you got? Oh, you got me. Nice, man. You got me. Anything else? Anything else? You want to see what my quick slot does? Boom. I just pressed the three button. Okay. Because you will see that at my physical injury phase one. Okay. He just hit me once. And if he didn't hurt me, guys, I, if I press three, if I press the quick slot, you know, it wouldn't, it won't activate. So two things that I'm going to focus on here is, is he giving me anything that I really, really want? No. And I'm fine with rags. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop him up. Oh, yeah. So yes, guys, the club is already fast. I hit him three times. Okay. It was a bit of a mistake getting hit once. But I mean, they don't do a lot of damage. Now we now we can get the skin to make a bigger uh, bigger backpack. And you know, you never have you never think if you're lucky. So we're gonna need that. And we're gonna need We're gonna need the tree bark rope. We're gonna need a long wooden stick. We're gonna need the axe. Okay, the improvised sewing kit. I'm I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for improvised sewing kit, boys. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna craft the the bow needle because the bow needle will help you to craft the improvised sewing kit. But we're gonna need thread as well, which we can find when we loot. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna basically take. A lot of people are gonna cut him up now and take his meat stuff like that. Okay. I'm not going to eat the mutant, boys. I'm not going to eat the mutant. I'm immersing myself in the experience. Oh, there, there's another one. Okay, now let's use the axe. Now let's use the axe. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, buddy. I already showed them how strong the club is. Okay, lady. Come here, lady. Let's see how strong the club is. Oh, the axe is a bit slower. Oh, yeah, it's slower. It's slower. But it hits harder. It's slower, but it hits harder. It's not the end of the world. I can just use the small rags that I've got. Okay. And that's why I say club is king, boys. The club is king. That's why I say when I got the baseball bat, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed. Of course, the axe is great for baseballing. Great for getting a ton of, you know, a ton more resources. But, yeah, like I told you, you know. I just, I just wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed with the axe. I'm not impressed with the baseball bat. And with my perfect build and what I've showed you guys, the club is king, boys. The club is king. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click that like button. If you want to see future episodes of the ultimate single player guide for scum, click the sub button and the bell button to be notified of future videos, boys. This is going to be a great series. I did push this video a bit longer than it should have been, but I'm going to pull it back, boys. I'm going to pull it back. Okay? Don't worry. And um, I just I just, you know, I just, just want to show you guys everything. But I understand, you know? Um, I understand. Thank you for spending some time with me. And see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.